All right, all right, man. What's up, y'all? Another day. Another day. It's Wednesday. Wednesday the 9th, I think. Wait. The 9th or the 10th? One of those. I'll put it up on the screen. But, uh, yeah, it's like 2 a.m. It's like 2.06 in the morning. Fucking register for school. For class. For school. Just gotta wait for my financial aid to come through or go through or however that works. You know. And also take like a some some sort of placement test or what have you. Before I uh you know, pick classes and all that good stuff. Yeah. But speaking of that, man, because like right now I'm, you know, working out at like early morning, you know, I don't think I'll probably be doing that or probably do it like on the weekend or what have you, like Friday night, Sunday, or fr Friday night, Saturday morning. Saturday morning, Sunday night, or what have you, because, you know, when school starts, it's going to be fucking crazy, you know, you take, like, as much units as I can, probably, like, three or four classes, or what have you, you know, and then go from there, man, think about transferring, going to, like, local, uh, JC, over here, and then think about transferring over to, I don't know, wherever, <laughs> but my major is uh, videography, videography, video production, film production, film, shit like that. I just find it fascinating. I mean, who uh, doesn't, you know? Uh, most people like, you know, watching movies, films, TV, shows, what have you, you know? I'll be like behind the scenes kind of guy, you know, production stuff, you know, but well, yeah, man, I can't wait for, uh, you know, summer session starts, summer session starts, kind of excited and nervous at the same time, cause it's been a while, man, since I went back to school, you know, I don't know how, uh, well my academics is because before you know I went to school before you know local JC but different JC but you know I you know I wasn't focused you know I didn't really know what I wanted you know what I'm saying but yet I don't want to just you know take a you know choose a major and then I didn't like it you know what I'm saying because then you know a few of my friends you know they, they they chose majors and now they're like somewhat in a dead end job and shit like that. Well, I mean at least they're getting paid, right? You know. But I, on the other hand, when I got out of the military, I was like, "Fuck it, man." I said, "Fuck it, let me go to school for a little bit." But I was like, "Nah." nah. So I fucking got a job. I did many jobs, mainly like labor intensive jobs or what have you what the fuck was that I heard something it's fucking creepy man be hearing things in the middle of the night or at night time or it's just me maybe it's all my fucking head like I was saying uh, so yeah man I, I, I took uh, like odd jobs here and there you know, it's mainly like la labor intensive jobs. You know, let's see. Right when I got out of the military, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, I helped out uh, my uh, uncle in law. He, he had like a, or I mean, he still has a produce, like a wholesale produce business. And I was helping him out for a few months, you know what I'm saying? And that was labor intensive, tell you what, man. You know, working, you know, L.A. County produce. You know what I'm talking about, man. 
you know, if you ever did shit like that. It's like usually what 10, 11 hours. Sometimes, like I remember during a certain night, it's like 12 hours, dude. Fucking moving pallets and boxes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I helped them out was I think uh, they needed help because it was like a new, brand new business or what have you. So they're like, yeah, come on, help us out, man. All right, let's go. And that was that, man. It's like, fuck it, dude. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, fuck this. This is fucking hard, you know? You know? And what? I only got like 1500 a month? 1500 a month? Yeah. I'm not embarrassed to, you know, tell you my salary and all that stuff. It's, you know, whatever. Who cares, you know? And then my second job was, let's see, working at a local, kind of like a boys and girls club, you know what I'm saying, kind of like a boys and girls club, they have a famous song, you know, by the village people, if you know what that, that uh, organization is, but yeah, I worked there as like a, like a fitness instructor. Because during that time, you know, I'm like, hey, dude, I want to get into fitness, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I think I did that for two years. Just walking around, making sure, you know, people don't, you know, you know, just making sure people use the equipment right or what have you. You know, just doing that stuff. You know, lot, uh, data entry. Um showing the people how to use machines shit like that was I a fitness instructor no it was just like a showing people how to use machines that's it I mean the machines are simple you know I mean it says right there you know you know the beginning start finish start finish start finish right or start finish or start finish simple shit did that for two years I was like fuck this man you know then I got out of that and then let me see and then I was and then I went back to school again just to get my GE you know I was like fuck man you know I still I still didn't know what I wanted I was like and then my uh, pops was like you know telling me hey dude you need you know you need to start paying your own you know pulling your own weight basically it's like yeah you know you're right dude you know you're like fuck it let me let me just fucking uh sign up for all these fucking jobs like random jobs and then whoever calls me first you know i'm gonna go work for them and what do you know man dealership called me first a dealership zoom zoom so I went for the interview and all that stuff surprisingly it's a pretty pretty tough interview for a fucking the position was a porter which is like moving cars around I mean when I when I how I found out that job was like looking through Craigslist I was like hey pretty easy man moving cars around I could be going to school tell you what man that's a fucking labor intensive job you know it's not just moving cars around you know you gotta there's a lot of shit a lot of little details that you know a porter does and I also was a detailer and then later became a loop tech you know because I was like a hard worker or what have you that's what I'm saying like hard hard working so I was like a hard worker or what have you But yeah, man, being a porter, a detail guy, it's like fucking hard, dude. There's a service department there, and uh, you gotta wash their cars, you know what I'm saying? Like simple oil change, free car wash, why not, right? I mean, if you got your, your you know, car serviced, even as simple as like changing out the fucking um, wind windshield wipers, free car wash, hey, why not? I mean, it's a free car wash, right? So who washes the cars? Us, the porters, the detail guys. We have to wash those cars. And also we have to wash the new cars and also the used cars that they sell in the dealership. You know, 
you know, twice a week. Twice a week. And yeah, man, they fucking get dirty, dude. You know what I'm saying? And I remember during one week and a half, they had road, road construction. And I was like, fucking A, dude. We had to wash the cars, like, within that week and a half, like, at least four and a half, like, four to five times. Because road construction, dust, car. All the cars were, like, fucking filthy, dude. Every, like, other, every other day, dude. But anyways, that was that. And I did that for about a little over two years. During maybe the last few months, they uh, transferred me over to uh, service you know, and also during that time, I was like, man, you know, looking at the uh, the uh, auto technicians, they're you know making pretty good money. I'm like, man, I want to do that. And plus, I like cars. You know, I mean, I still do like cars. Though. So I was like, fuck, let me do that for a little bit. So I was like, eh. did that for a few months, but I'm like, this is a fucking dead end job. And plus, I'd be talking to the old cats, you know, that are there for 15. 20, 23 years, you know, they're like, dude, you're still young, homie, you know, little, you're still young, my man, you're still young, little homie, you should get the fuck out and go to school and do something that's like indoors, office type of job, you know what I'm saying, I was like, shit, you know what, it is, I mean, if a fucking guy that did this for so many years, and he's telling me that, dude, this, this isn't what it used to be, and plus, it's like not that much money, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, I'm going to listen to that guy, you know what I'm saying? And plus, I mean, that makes sense. It is a dead-end job because I see a lot of people. I would say because we had, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, about five or six technicians. And I would say about maybe four-fifths or five-sixths of the technicians were, like, just miserable, you know what I'm saying? And three and three of them, you know, I was pretty cool with and they told me what's up, you know what I'm saying? You're still young, man, you fucking get the fuck out of here, you know? Still young and go to school and you know, do what you wanna do, like do what you enjoy doing, you know. Even though I enjoy cars, you know, and, and tuning it up or or just detailing like detail detailing my own car that is. I was like, Yeah, you know what? You're right, man, you're right. Not that cold, see? So it wasn't for me. I was like, fuck. I'm gonna get the fuck out before, you know, I'm in too deep. So that was that. And I left that, like, last year of around or the beginning. No, no. Around October. Yeah. The end of October, I left. Yeah, there we go. Because I gave him, like, a two weeks notice, whatever. Everybody was all sad, you know. They're like, oh, Mikey's leaving, you know. Because he's a hard worker, you know. Because, you know, it's hard to find, you know, uh, hard workers and honest guys. I mean, I ain't like bragging, but, you know, I was I was pretty fucking honest guy, you know. Did my thing, didn't like steal their fucking shit or, you know, anything like scandalous like that, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, it's all good, man, whatever. So, I'm at this phase of my life right now, going back to school. And I started vlogging, like, the beginning of this year, just because it's like a video journal, it's more or less. I mean, it's not really for anybody except for me and maybe my future relatives later on. I mean, wouldn't you want to see your fucking grandparents when they were young? It's crazy, huh? grandkids, you know what I'm saying, nephews, nieces, what's up, so that's why I'm vlogging, and while doing this, I was like, this is interesting, and plus, I like video editing, it's interesting, it's fascinating, it's unique, it's, I don't know, it just interests me, like a simple video clip, boring video clip like this, I can make it into you know, like, fucking explosions and stars and fucking rainbows and all that bullshit, right? No, nah, but, you know, anyways, I think the car's pretty much good to go. And I've been talking like a mug.
Anyways, I'll see you at the gym. All right, all right, man. We back again, man. Back at the motherfucking gym. So as you can see, I'm doing back today. Back. One of these, uh, what is it called? Ben over dumbbell rows right here. You know how we do, man. Just warming up, like weights, of course, all the time, all day, every day, right? Oh man, I got a whole bunch of fucking unedited videos I have to put together and edit them. Have like, probably, uh, shit. Say like 20 days worth or more of fucking raw footage, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Anyways, back to the gym workout. I gotta do the other side, of course. Usually, you know, I'm, I'm right handed, right? So, I would usually do maybe one or two more reps on my weaker side. So my left side, that is. Alright man, it's my second set over here. Went a little more heavy weight. I think these are 80 pounds right here, you know. 80 pounds, my man, 80 pounds. So there you go, man. I gotta do one side, I gotta do the other side. You know how we do over here. There you go, my man. So yeah, man, I'm fucking dropping weight again, you know what I'm saying? Change it up a bit, you know. So I'm starting to drop weight again. And I can see myself, I'm getting a little more defined, you know, week by week, little by little. All right, as you can see, I went a little more weight, a little heavier and heavier as we go along. I think these are, what, 100 pounds or something like that? Could be wrong, maybe 95s or what have you. I don't know what's what's harder, losing weight or building muscle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm talking about, like, if you're a fat dude, right, and if you're trying to lose weight, or if you're a skinny guy and you're trying to build muscle, I wonder what's harder. Or... Yeah, more difficult or what have you. Maybe each of its own has its, you know, uh, difficulties or what have you. There you go, my man. Alright, this is my fourth and last set for these bent over dumbbell rows over here, as you can see, fourth set. Usually I would, you know, average like three or four sets, but I'm thinking maybe next week I'm going to increase the sets to five sets. All right, next up, I'm jumping on this machine over here, one of the rows, the seated rows. Haven't did this machine for a while, man, so I'm gonna give it a try, just jump on this real quick. I usually like to use free weights or maybe the cable pull downs or uh, 
fucking T-bar rows, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm gonna give this a try. You know, I haven't done it for a while, so I wanna see, you know, if it, you know, is any different. You know, look at my back. It's getting a little more defined. You can see the muscle be popping out everywhere. This is my second set right here. It's still lightweight, as you can see, lightweight. Uh, second set, my man. Now I remember why I don't use this machine as much. Because the fucking thing that holds your chest or holds you from, you know, going forward is that, that thing right there where it pushes against your chest. And it's kind of uncomfortable, so. Now I remember why I don't use it because you know that shit pushes up against your chest and it makes you hard it makes it hard to breathe. Hey, I'm kinda impressed man. Look at my fucking forearms man. And look at the definition if you can see through the or if you can see uh, See past the uh, shirt, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a little, little bigger and bigger. Barbell time. Bent over rows, my man. Bent over rows. One of my favorites. Lightweight right here. That's 50 pounds on each side. That's 25 pound plates. On each side. So, I mean, two. Two rather, two. Two on each side. So that's 100 pounds plus the bar itself. 45 pounds. Now, this is my second warm up. Well, not really warm up. It's like uh, lightweight, you can say. Just getting ready, getting in position real quick before I fucking pull this fucking heavy ass weight. I got on me right here. Break me. I can't pretend it's you. I got a different view, so twist it on me instead. Take me. I'm moving through the crowd, running my own way out to reach you. Alright man, same thing, same weight as you can see. The reason why I'm using lightweight is because my, uh, I think I just recently got this fucking injury, but it's a tennis elbow, man. And as you can see, I reversed the grip as well. Alright, next up, face pulls. There you go, let's go. So yeah, I mean, doing these like the first time I remember, man, I could barely like do uh, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. And the next day was hurting like a mug, right? And as the weeks went by, the months went by, you know, these were getting easier and easier and I could do more weight and more reps and sets with it. There's my second set right here, and you can see face pulls. It's about like 30 pounds or 40 pounds or what have you. The sun is rising lately. I've been so out of tune with all the shit I do, so maybe. As you can see, just a little more. 
I remember when doing these like maybe a few months ago, it was like pretty hard, you know, but now it's easier. And that's a good thing. my last set for this exercise over here as you see last set face pose Conclusion time, there we go man, some blood flow restriction training over here, I've seen this on the internet, so you know, on YouTube, I'm thinking, hey, let me give this a try real quick, you know what I'm saying, tell you what though, this gives you a fucking intense pump, pump that I never felt before, you know what I'm saying, However, I don't do this every time when I'm doing arms. It's just maybe every other time, something like that. Yeah, it depends. Man, I don't know what's worse, dude. Fucking people that inject like synthol in their arms. Or the fucking, the fucking uh, Ken doll guy. He's trying to be more like the Ken doll. He has like silicone implants in his fucking arms and shoulders and all that stuff. I mean, man, I see pictures of him online and on TV, and that shit just looks gross as fuck, dude. Tell you the truth, man. But hey, man, you know whatever makes you happy, I guess, right? Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? All right, here's another set right here. Now, you, you don't see it, but I'm using light weight, actually. Not too light. Like, I, I think that day, I was I was pulling, uh, I would say probably 70 pounds or 75 pounds. I mean, even, even though it's light, right? But this occlusion training or blood flow restriction training, that shit fucking feels like I was pulling like 150 pounds or something. Well, not 150, maybe like 130 or whatever, but fuck, dude. So by this time, man, my fucking arms was fucking killing, man. It was burning all over, dude. I wanted to take those fucking straps off real bad. But it's my last set anyway, so, you know. Well, last set for this uh, machine, rather. Alright, as you can see, is my next exercise over here. This is the seated dumbbell, seated dumbbell curls right here, alternating. That is. <laughs> so someday, man, someday, I want to fucking open up a gym open and run a gym, you know, like one of my businesses. Somewhere in Orange County, California that is. Orange County, California. Like a big fucking gym. Big gym. You know, competing next to, I don't know, 24 hour or 
you know, those other huge fucking gyms, you know what I'm saying? They probably call it, I don't know, Me Mega Flex or something like that. Mega Flex. You know, like state of the art shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of fucking equipment, a lot of fucking, you know, dumbbells and barbells and all that good stuff. So I did, what, three sets of these right here? But I recorded it once because, you know, I'm trying to conserve space and battery at the same time. So I just recorded it once. Probably next time I'll, uh, you know, put some weight on. I mean, not like put some weight on, on my body, but like hold a plate or a wheel on my chest so it's more weight. Next up, man, one of my favorite exercises, T-bar rows over here, bent over T-bar rows, as you can see. I like these better because there's nothing, you know, pressing against my chest, like the uh, machine that you saw a little earlier. These I love, man, one of my favorites. Alright, here we go, man. Second set, a little more weight. As you can see, a little more weight. Look at my forearms, man. It's, it's getting a little bigger, I can tell. Or maybe I'm just, you know, losing fat, so it's like an optical illusion. Alright, this is my third set right here, as you can see, my third set, a little more weight, three plates, three wheels, 45 pounds each. There we go, my man, it's getting heavy. So this is my last set right here, last set for this exercise, and pretty much that whole morning, you know, that was it for that day, man, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking tired and beat. Usually after this, I will go downstairs to the cardio machine, Stairmaster, I prefer that. Do like uh, 30 minutes of uh, maybe level 6, level 7, but recently, man, like the past few weeks, uh, I've been doing less time but increasing the intensity or yeah increasing a higher intensity so it's almost like the same thing I think in, in some ways it is right and then I will jump in the sauna and you know seven eight minutes and there you go my man thanks for watching